hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so if you're new to this channel please do hit and subscribe button so that you can be updated on my all latest videos on deep learning and machine learning so in today's video we are going to be targeting about uh, how to find similar sentences from a data set so this is our uh, today's agenda and we are going to discuss how we're going to find the similar sentences in a data set so uh, the approach uh, to handle this particular uh, scenario is like we will be using a, a bird train model that is roberta based model and uh, we are going to take up some sen some sentences and we, we are going to pass it to the roberta based model and get embeddings from uh, roberta based model and then we are going to uh, calculate the similarity between the sentences so if you see here is a sentence a and here is sentence b we are we are going to pass into the roberta model or or bert model and then uh, we are going to take up uh, the embeddings from the bert model uh, that is from here and then we are going to take up the uh, average of all the embeddings of that particular words so this sentence has many words so it's going to pass into this BERT model and BERT model going to produce embeddings for each and every word. And then we're going to take a mean of those embeddings of each and every word. And then our a single vectorization or representation of a sentence will be ready for each and every sentence. And then finally, we are going to do a cosine similarity uh, between this embedding uh, of the sentence and, and this embedding of the sentence. And then we are going to get a score uh, in the range of minus one to one, which says that uh, if it is minus one, then it's very opposite sentence. That means it's not, it's nowhere near to the sentence or similar sentence. And if it is one, it says that it's very similar sentence. So this is will, this will be our approach, and this is what we are going to do here. So uh, so for to to all to do all these tasks, we have. Uh, uh, a library called sentence transformer they have implemented all this uh, bifurcations and everything uh, in one shot so we just have to use that sentence transformer library to do all these uh, processing uh, what is going to happen behind the scenes the calculation of mean polling and and calculation of uh, uh, an extraction of uh, uh, the embeddings from the uh, word and calculating the mean of those uh, embeddings and pop populating into the sentence embedding so that's uh, that's that's all uh, uh, hard work has been done uh, in the sentence transformer. So we are going to use uh, the sentence transformer directly. So for that, you have to uh, install uh, sentence trans transform library. Uh, and uh, for this, we have this command. So we'll just uh, run this and we'll wait for the installation to complete. So since I've already installed this since the sentence transform in my environment, so it shows requirement satisfied. And once that is done, uh, we're going to just uh, take up the sentences in a form of list. So you can see we have four sentences and uh, we are going to uh, measure the similarity between each and every sentences. So and this is a sentence, this, this is a sentence and we have to be uh, converted into the list. And once this uh, sentence are in the list format, then from sentence transform, we are going to use sent, uh, import sentence transformer. And in from sentence transform, we are going to use uh, NLI uh, distilled Roberta based model. So if we go into this uh, uh, sentence transformer documentation, we can see there are uh, many pre-trained models are available. So you can, we can use any of them. So for this range, uh, for this uh, tutorial, we are going to use the uh, NLI distilled Roberta based model, uh, which is very good model uh, in terms of uh, getting uh, real time embeddings. And it is very fast compared to the bird base. So uh, we are just utilizing this uh, 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 distilled bird uh, model for our uh, 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 embedding calculation, right? So uh, we just have to run this particular cell to calculate the uh, or to download this particular model. So it, it might take few seconds to get download. And once that is done, uh, we can uh, have our next uh, information to flow it. That is, we have to calculate the embeddings from the sentences. So for each sentence, we'll calculate the embeddings. So that means for each of the four sentences, we'll, we'll pass these uh, four sentences to this uh, model, distilled model, and we'll get an embedding for each and every sentences. 
right so embedding for each and every sentences but uh, this calculation has been done uh, by uh, by 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 taking the mean of all the uh, words in the sentences right so let's suppose if we pass this is a sentence uh, to a to, to a roberta based model so what it will do it will take up this uh, sentence that is this is a sentence and it will it will form a embedding for each and every word so for this word it will be embedding there will be an embedding for this word there will be an embedding for uh, a word there will be an embedding and similarly for sentence word there will be an embedding so this four of five so five embeddings will be created and after that in this pooling layer what it will happen is you take the uh, average of all those five embeddings and put it into the single uh, embedding space that's what it is doing so this sentence uh, from what it is doing it, this is what it is doing internally so when we uh, put up this sentences uh, and encode it uh, in the model so it does the same thing so uh, let's run, let's just run this uh, particular cell and just see uh, the embeddings or uh, what is printing up so you can see it is printing four sentences with seven six eight embeddings so uh, bird generally uh, calculates uh, the embeddings space or hidden size space is 768 for each and every token so that's what it is giving and uh, it has calculated for each and every sentences so for each and every sentences uh, the embedding has been calculated with hidden size of 768 so this is the meaning of uh, this shape right now uh, we we can see the embeddings of it uh, how the embeddings are looking like so this is the embedding space for all so let me just print an embedding space for one sentence so you can see this is the embedding space for one sentence so 7 728 uh, length would be there so if i just uh, print up the length and let just print the length of it so you can see it's 768 so 768 length of each and every sentence is there likewise for other sentences it's a uh, hidden size is 768 now uh, once we have this embeddings for each and every sentence now just we have to calculate the similarity so for that for calculating the similarity uh, we are using cosine similarity uh, from sklearn dot matrix so we have to just import it we can also measure uh, uh, Euclidean distance uh, but for this tutorial I'm using cosine similarity you can also do the similar calculation by using uh, Euclidean distance or you can use mean square error formula uh, to calculate the uh, nearest distance or nearest uh, uh, sentence which are very similar to each other right so for this I am using cosine similarity as an base to calculate the uh, nearest uh, sentence or similar sentence so for this uh, we are using cosine similarity and in cosine similarity uh, I am calculating uh, the cosine similarity for sentence first and and uh, against all the sentences right so I am taking sentence one and calculating the similar sentences for all those remaining sentences so this is what it is doing so I am putting it up the, uh, in cosine similarity I am putting sentence one here and then rest of the sentence so once we done it uh, so once we run it uh, we can see uh, it has calculated the similar sentences with respect to the first sentence so uh, you can see the similarity score of uh, sentence one and sentence two you can see the similarity score of sentence one and sen sentence three you can see the similarity score of sentence one with respect to sentence four so this is what it is now uh, let's just see in a form of data frame how the things are up so let me run this particular cell to show up in the data frame format so you can see uh, the similarity score uh, for this tutorial is about sentence similarity is 0 0.62 and if you see our sentence the sentence one that is the sentence one is uh, this is a sentence and it is calculating the similarity between these two right so you can see the similarity score is 0 0.62 similarly the first sentence and the second sentence similarity is 0 0.42 and you can see the third sentence and the first sentence similarity 0 0.128 so you can see because uh, you can see the similarity score for this uh, two sentences is almost near like 0 0.62 and 0 0.42 although there is a huge difference but yeah because the word sentence is present 
in our first sentence so you can see in our first sentence the sentence is word is present similarly in the second sentence the word is sentence is also present in the third sen sentence the sentence word is also present so that's why uh, the scores are very very near but if you see in the in the third or in the last sentence you can see that there is no word sentence so you can see the score is very low that, that is 0 0.1 that is these are very dissimilar kind of sentence compared to uh, sentence one so likewise we can uh, calculate the similarity score for each and every word which is uh, sorry e for each and every sentence for with respect to each and every sentence right so this is how we're going to calculate it and we're going to get a rank so you can also put a, another column and with a threshold value you can put up a rank uh, saying that this is the most uh, uh, similar to the sentence one this is a second most sec uh, sentence similar to the first sentence so likewise we can create a rank score also uh, by putting up a threshold and that's how we're gonna uh, list up or rank up the uh, uh, similar sentences so i hope you understood the uh, approach how we are going to do this and how the uh, similar approach for calculation of similarity of sentence is there and this is what we generally follow and this all things are being inbuilt inside the uh, sentence transformer so it's become very easy to uh, make up the calculation of uh, uh, sentence similarity right so this is all about this particular video hope you liked it if you do like the content please subscribe channel thank you